Don't you dare fucking touch him! You're not gonna make it. Why would you help me? Because I'm not like you. What took you so long? Here we go. Sorry, I don't have real sugar, just Splenda. Black's fine for me, thanks. Turns out leaving behind a life of hostility and revenge does wonders for your skin. And having a dermatologist husband doesn't hurt either. <laughs> I took all the stress that was pumping through my body and swapped it for premium fillers. <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding. Kind of. Dr. Husband? Donna, I, I know. I... I owe you an apology. Do you have... How could you not let me know you were alive? I did. I, I called. I just... could never say hello. As soon as I heard your voice, I'd start shaking. The memories of Redwood would come flooding back in. I hung up every time. But there wasn't a day that went by that... I didn't think of you. And I'm sorry, I just, I didn't know any other way to move on. Yeah. And I'll be damned. I watched you die. heaven until I felt all of this pain. I guess someone called from the camp payphone and paramedics got me to the hospital. As soon as I got my strength back, I got out of there, headed north and kept going. <laughs> After all my father did to you, why did you help me? Why did you seek me out and send me money all these years? I know it's, it's hard to understand, but I needed to believe that a normal life was possible after Camp Redwood. A glimmer of hope after all that darkness. Your dad was that for me. He moved to Alaska, got married, had a baby. He was on his way and the camp pulled him back. Just like it pulled me back when I had a chance to be free. And I knew that eventually it would pull you in too. So I did what I could to give you a chance to be free of that awful legacy. So I guess in the end, I did it for me just as much as for you. Donna, I hope someday you can forgive me. Yeah. I guess we're both the final girl. <laughs>